Hello there, Pokemon trainers. Trainer Connor here, and it's time for another Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle video. If you enjoy this, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. I appreciate the support. Now, I do appreciate you guys coming to this video because it's like, I'm going to be using Sun and Roar again. If you saw the last video, it didn't really work out well in my favor. So we're going to try again. I'm going to be using different team members for this match. Um, we're going to be swapping out Roserade with Amoongus this time. And the reason I did that is because I needed more defensive punch. So Pokemon that can take hits really well. Um, because in Signing War, it's going to be taking a lot of damage from Recoil. And there's really no defense for him, so just having a defensive partner is going to be really ideal, in my opinion. I'm also going to be swapping out Gyasi with Mammo Swine, and then we'll be uh, swapping Hasserus with Cobalion. Again, I wanted more defense, and I needed someone to set up some entry hazards. So Cobalion is there to set up Stealth Rocks, and then we have Mammo Swine being a physical attacker. I, I, I believe I didn't really have enough physical attackers. I only had Insignagor and Hasserus in the last video. So just having that third extra physical attacker in the form of Mammo Swine is going to be great. And everyone else, we have Keldia, we have Insignagor, and Zapdos. Those guys are staying with us for this battle, so... My opponent today is another passerby. She's got Primarina. She's got Pikachu. We've got Alola Ninetales to deal with. Lycanroc Mid-Day form. Lopane is not going mega, thank goodness. And then, uh, Sylveon. Spoilers! This match is not going to go through the whole thing. Um, she actually ends up forfeiting. But I'm going to post this one anyway just because... It kind of shows you, it, it will show you, that's what I meant. I'm going to show you just how effective in the sign of war is with the new partners I have up front. So I hope you guys enjoyed the match and let's get into it. All right, let's go. Now, looking at my opponent's team, there are no threats for me. I just have to be careful of what I do because if I end up making a mistake, she might benefit from them. So I'm going to start out with Cobalion. And my opponent is going to start out with Primarina, the water type starter for Sun and Moon. She's going to switch out, going to Law Penny. And that's just fine, because I'm just going to set up my stealth rocks, and then I should be faster than Law Penny. I do have a little bit of speed, I'll speed some things, but not much. And we do end up speeding out. Lopane, which is great. Um, like I said, it's not going to go mega, so I have to be aware of that. It's going to be great. It's going to make things a lot easier. We're going to go into Amoongus. I'm really happy I made this decision. <laughs> uh, just because high jump kick, I expected that. So we'll go into this thing. Pyramidia is going to take that hit really well. And then she shows me bounce, which is super effective against Amoongus being part grass. So, I was actually curious to see how much this will do, and it does not do as much as... I, I guess I was expecting a lot more, but in the end, I take that really well. So, there we go. We have Amoongus already making some huge plays. We do get paralyzed in the end there with the bounce, but that's not going to be too much of an issue. In return, we do put the Lopane to sleep, and then I predict the Nine Tails coming in. So we'll go with a Stun Spore. I don't get paralyzed that turn. That is amazing, because if I got paralyzed there, if I gotten paralyzed there, I would have been sad, because I made that awesome prediction with the Nine Tails coming in here. I've decided to stay in against it, because I figured I could take a hit. But she gets a critical hit, so all that was a critical hit, and 
I would have taken that a lot better if she didn't get the critical hit. So this is this is amazing. I opted to use Giga Drain over Sludge Bomb because of my health. Here she misses a Frost Breath, judging from the Freeze Dry, that wouldn't KO me. And so you're asking yourself, okay, why are you going for Giga Drain? Why are you going for Giga Drain? It's not really working out for you. The reason I did that is because I needed more health when I get my Regenerator activated when I switch out. And I can just go into a sign or because I know she's going to go for another freeze dry. That's as easy as you can get it to be. I mean, honestly, that's just a great move. A great decision. I could have gone for the Sludge Bomb with the Moongus, but in the end, I thought this was, be this was more appropriate. I go with a Flare Blitz. The Stealth Rocks are up, so... Primarina coming in is going to be taking a lot more damage, and that's great. And I realize this is a two-hit KO, so we'll stay in. I should be faster than Primarina, and we do outspeed Primarina, and we'll be taking out Primarina just like that. So even though it wasn't super effective, two of those hits from Stealth Ox, it's going to easily finish off that Pokemon. So there you go. We have Insignior doing something for a change. And that's what I wanted. That's the whole idea. That's, that's, that's amazing. So good job, Insignior. I realized that this Lycan Rock is going to go mega. So I'm going to speed this up. Wow, I don't take that much, right? That was that was a continental crush, and I didn't take that much from that. Among us, you are amazing. Now she does reveal hidden power ice or hidden power fire. I don't know which one it is, but it is super effective. I'm gonna go for Giga Drain. It's super effective. Unfortunately we don't take Lacking Rock out because I don't have Matt's special attack. If I had Max Special Attack, I might have been able to take out Lycan Rock. She withdraws and goes into Sylveon. I go with another Giga Drain. I could have gone with a Sludge Bomb predicting that, but in the end, I get paralyzed, so that does not matter in the long run. I would have gotten more health back, but I can always switch out, get my Regenerator, and we'll go from there. So she ends up predicting a switch out of some kind. Probably Cobalion. I go into Cobalion because it was my choice. Uh, if she had Moonblast or Fairy Wind or any other uh, fairy type move, Cobalion uh, will, you know, dodge it. So we go with a full switch because we over predict. And that was stupid because like, she goes with a fairy type move. I guess, I guess, Cobalion. If I were to stay in there, it would not be very effective. So we'll use Kogio for a little bit, you know? We'll try to anyway. We end up missing a Hydro Pump. That's cool. We do that a lot, you guys. You all can relate to that. We all miss a Hydro Pump. I take a little bit of extra damage from the Fairy Wing. And we get a critical hit off the choice specs hydro pump. Judging from the damage, I think the critical hit mattered just because of how bulky Sylveon is in general. Here's Pikachu, I know the same is going to get destroyed from a choice specs hydro pump. And this is where, you know, the match pretty much comes to a conclusion. We'll not be using Mammal Swine will not be using Zapdos, unfortunately, but everyone else did a great job because I switch out going to Standing Roar because I know I can just finish off Lopunny with a Fairblitz or Darkest Lariat as my option. But then she forfeits, so I won that match technically, but she forfeited, so I guess this could be a draw. I would have won this match, I think, 6 to 0. Six nothing or zero six, whatever you want to call it. It was a battle where I destroyed my opponent with none of my Pokemon taken out. So, anyways, uh, that was the match. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know this wasn't a full battle, but I wanted to use Insignor a little bit more 
And this was probably the best match. I had a few, and they were just not good. Didn't live up to my expectations. So this one was by far the better ones. So we'll be moving on. We'll be using a new team in the next video, whatever that may be. I've got a lot of stuff going on this week. Going out of town next weekend, and then I have schoolwork to work on and work. So we'll see where we end up. I will definitely find time to narrate some more battles for you guys, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you next time, Pokemon trainers. Alright, enjoy the outro, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.